Silvio Berlusconi stepping into the political arena for the first time, nearly 20 years ago, the start of an extraordinary career. There were often times in politics and with his football club when winning seemed easy for Mr Berlusconi, and life was good in many ways. He cut a colourful figure on the international stage as he mixed with the world's most powerful leaders. And at home, Mr Berlusconi went on to become the longest-serving Italian Prime Minister since Mussolini. But always there were scandals. He's alleged to have paid for sex with this woman when she was an underage prostitute. They both say none of that is true. There have been many court cases, and he lost one last summer. He was convicted of tax fraud. Mr Berlusconi insists that he's innocent. Io sono innocente. But his court conviction made him liable to be expelled from Parliament when the Senate votes later today. Despite all his problems, Silvio Berlusconi retains a substantial block of support. Millions of Italians voted for him at the last election. And sometimes people around the world wonder why that is. And here, outside his brand new party headquarters in Rome, his supporters are ready to explain. And some of his followers are drawn from the youngest generation. We think that Silvio Berlusconi is not just a person, he's a symbol, an idea. He was the best prime minister of Italian history. If people abroad lived in Italy and were well informed, they would understand that Silvio Berlusconi is not the devil that is often described. Mr Berlusconi is almost certain to be expelled from this place in the hours ahead. It'll be a major blow. It'll force him out of the parliamentary front line and leave him more marginalised. But he's not the sort to fade away quietly. He'll still lead his political party and we will keep hearing from Silvio Berlusconi. Alan Johnston, BBC News, Rome.